Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I am here to do a final review on the Black & Decker 0.9 cubic foot portable washer. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. I have two other comprehensive reviews on my channel right now from I believe when I had first purchased it and then three month review. But now it's been about a year and I feel like I've learned different tips and tricks to kind of inform you guys if you're on Amazon or walmart.com looking for a portable washer. This one is awesome. I plan on telling you the pros and cons, kind of how it works and what fits inside of the washer and just the overview of how I feel about it having it been now one year since I have purchased and loved every minute of it. Honestly, this is a straight game changer if you are like me and had to spend countless quarters, time and energy, be out in the public to go wash your clothes. It's so much more sanitary, it's so much more cost efficient, it basically pays for itself in about two months, honestly, depending on how much you want. It makes more sense to be at home in the comfort of your home where you can soak it as long as you want. You don't have to worry about anybody else needing to use your washer. Um, you can sanitize it as you like. Um, you never know who at the laundromat had what in there before you got there. Just for the sanitary aspect of it all, it's definitely paid for itself. The convenience has made it pay for itself. It literally has paid for itself over this past year. I've saved a ton of money, time, energy in just doing it at home. Well, I don't know why I didn't do it before, but without further ado, let's get into this review on what the machine holds, um, how the machine functions, kind of run you through a cycle so you can see how much water comes in, how it agitates, how it spins, how it spin dries, rinses, all that good stuff. So this is a blanket. It's a pretty thin, like, fleece blanket, but it's also very long. And this is probably the max size of a blanket throw that you can fit into the washer. And this will take up a whole load. So if you have a blanket to wash and it's about this size, this thickness, you can definitely fit it in your washer. I can fit this whole pillow in my washer. Um, it's just a thin white pillow but I have washed it in my washer and because it doesn't have an agitator it makes it easy to wash so you can wash a full pillow. I also have two bath mats. They look like this that I fit in here as well as my kitchen rug and you can fit these rugs in your washer. Okay guys so I'm going to show you what my load is going to consist of for this wash cycle. I have a pair of workout shorts right here, some compression leggings, so this is the size of my pile as you can see i have my washcloths right here on the very top the towel is here my shorts and my robe one shirt and one compression legging and that is a heavy load guys all right, and this is her. She stands at 31.1 inches tall, 48.4 pounds, only $248.81 on Amazon right now, and only takes cold water. So I recommend using Lysol laundry sanitizer to ensure cleanliness. The answer I found online when I researched as to why it requires only cold water is the heated water can damage the valves and the machine will begin to leak. This is, again, the Black & Decker Portable Washer 0.9. You're gonna press it on. It's gonna to default to the heavy load cycle, which is 41 minutes. But you have five different program choices. Heavy, gentle, normal, rapid, and soak, okay? So, but the heavy one is the one I always default to. It's a 41 minute cycle, but you can always change that by presetting your program here. It gives you the option to change your load size. If you're just washing a couple things and it's a low amount of water, you're gonna to wanna to do one. It goes up until three. For your wash time, these are minutes. As you can see here, you're going to wash for up to 15 minutes. Side note, a cool trick is if you want an extra spin cycle, but you don't want to go through a whole nother cycle of filling up your machine, you just want it to spin dry for a few more minutes, you're going to press on. You're going to hit the program for heavy, which it already defaults to. And for the wash time, you're going to put it at zero. By putting it at zero and pressing start, this machine will start to spin for you and um, it'll give you that extra time without actually requiring it to be filled up first. Just a side note. Anyway, 
So it offers you five programs with corresponding times. The Rapid is one of my favorites. If you have something that's extremely lightly soiled and you just need something quick, washed, in a hurry, I like this option here. It also has a soak option, but you can always press pause here and soak on any of the cycles your um, load of laundry for your desired amount of time. So let's go back to heavy because with like the gentle cycle, it gives you the option to change the load size and the wash time and the rinse and the spin for both the gentle and the heavy cycles. But on the normal cycle, it doesn't give you those options, just the load size. The wash size is, the wash time is 41 minutes and it's already set like that. You can't um, change it on the normal. That's why I always default to the heavy because on the heavy, you get all the options. You can change your load size, your wash, your rinse, and your spin time. The spin time goes up to nine minutes and you get nine minutes on the spin cycle, which is awesome. You don't have to use the nine minutes. You can use zero, one to nine. It's completely up to you to pick your load your wash time, your rinse amount, and your spin as well. But on the normal, like I said, all you're able to customize on that is the load size. Wash is already preset for the minutes. This rinse is already preset on a normal wash and so is the spin. At any time during your cycle, you can press start or pause, which is awesome. If you wish to soak or you have to run out or whatever the situation may be and you wanna pause your machine, you can always do that. And the soak cycle is a 39 minute um, soak as well and you can pick it looks like all of your settings on the soak cycle and um, when you are able to customize your rinses it goes up to four rinses which is a lot of rinses so that's cool too it comes with this automatic adapter thing um, you pull it down and it slides right into the other piece it comes with which hooks onto your sink so you literally just, it's an easy, accessible way for you to attach your hose directly to your sink, um, which is what I'm about to do right now. Then we can set up our load and I'll show you how I wash and what it does. So I definitely recommend connecting these two hoses together. As you see here, I've used some duct tape and connected this drainage hose that comes along the back of this machine. It's very floppy and light, so you're gonna wanna make sure that it's attached to something strong. I keep my sink hose attached to the machine at all times. It's a very thick hose, so um, putting this kind of floppier hose connected to something more sturdy made a lot of sense, and it keeps the water in the direction it needs to be without it really moving around, because it's already secured on the sink. So, yes, let's get started with our load. How I wash, I like to start my load, let the water fill up, put my detergent in, let it agitate for about a minute, and then add my clothes. It's nice soapy bath, as opposed to putting everything in, putting the soap directly on top of the clothes, and then running the water over it. That's, I think, how it's recommended to do it, but that's not how I choose to do it. You do how you want to with your washer. But I'm gonna show you what I do. So, we're gonna turn it on. And I always do a default of a heavy load program and it allows me to pick my load size. So from the clothes you saw previously, I'm gonna do a large load, which is a number three. I'm gonna press wash for the full amount, which is 15. Remember it goes zero to 15. And I'm gonna do the full amount there and rinse. I'm only gonna rinse once. I usually only rinse one time. And spin cycle, I like a full spin cycle, and that's a full nine minute. It goes from zero to nine minutes on spin cycle. So that's a total of 38 minutes. Once you press play, your basin will be filling up with water, at which point you can add your soap of your choice, and we'll go from there. And you don't need much soap. Um, with these high efficiency detergents, you don't need much soap. And especially with this washer, it doesn't require that much soap. So I'm gonna show you how I add the soap before the clothes and it just started agitating, so let's go. So as you can see, it started agitating, guys, with like no soap in it. I'm gonna pause it, lift the lid, and we're gonna go ahead. Oh, that was a scrunchie I wanted to wash. Ignore that, that's a hair tie. Anyway. And I like to switch out all the extra soap and I'm gonna let that agitate for mm, a few seconds. And 
now I'm gonna add my clothes. I'm gonna go ahead and press pause to save that wash time, and I'm gonna add my clothes. My towel, slowly set that up in there. You don't wanna press it too much to where this water overflows over your bin, then you're gonna have a mess on your floor and possibly mess up your mechanisms on the inside of the washer. So make sure you apply with care when you put them in, when you put your clothes in the washer. Here are my compression leggings and my robe. Slowly gonna add those in. Let's add our washcloths in. Still a lot of room. And lastly, we have our bra, another washcloth, our workout shorts, and a shirt. Slowly add those in. And that is a full load, y'all. But right now we have 35 more minutes. Next shot will be how it drains in the sink. Also, while that washes, real quick, I wanted to inform you, the cold water, it's cold water only, guys, if I didn't say that. When you turn on your faucet to fill up the basin, you can keep it on the entirety of the wash if you choose to. But definitely, you can leave your faucet on. Um, the adapter they give you allows the water to flow automatically when the cycle um, lets it know that it's time to rinse so or it's time to fill. So this is what it'll start doing, agitating kind of quick, and that's how you know. If I be quiet, you can hear getting ready to change motions to drain. It's washed for the 15 minutes with 22 minutes left. It agitates really fast on this pulse. And then it seeps through your drainage hose directly into the sink. This will continue until this tire basin is completely drained of water. Again, a good tip, attach that hose, that drainage hose to the sillier sink hose. This process since it started draining has taken two minutes. Now it'll spin. And that's how much water is coming out as it spins. All that soapy water, as you can see, it spins super fast, guys. And it's very smooth. The whole machine isn't like moving and acting up. Um, your neighbors downstairs won't mind. It's very much white noise. Okay, so as you can see, it's been a couple of minutes worth of spin. The motor is slowing the clothes down now. It's at the final drops. Um, if you keep your faucet on the entire time, then it'll automatically start right now. But because I choose to turn mine on manually when the cycle requires it, and it'll immediately start filling up. All right guys, so it's on its final spin right now. All of the residual water down to the last drop. Also, um, if you are gonna pause your machine, it's best to do it at a time that isn't the spin cycle like this, just because it kind of interrupts the motor and kind of gets everything out of whack. With the motor going as fast as it is right now, unless it's an absolute emergency and you have to pause it, I probably would just let it go through its final cycle. Laundry load is done and I am a happy camper. Let's grab something random. This robe here. It's extremely dry. I can pretty much just hang this up and let it dry overnight. I don't even really need to put it in the dryer, but it's extremely spun and it's awesome. This obviously isn't a dryer. It's just going to spin dry then for the dryer. Really spun. So I like that. So yeah, it does a really, really good job. Into the dryer they'll go. And just to let you know, as you can see, I tie up to itself the... Um, the water filler hose, I tie it to itself when I'm not in use. So it's pointed up, it's not gonna drip. I use a scrunchie. And then my drainage hose is already duct taped to that. So it's standing up and I store it like that. So I got this extendable brush that can fit inside of my drainage hose. The drainage hose on this washer is not detachable, so it gets a little murky and stinky. So you're gonna wanna clean it. So make sure that you have something to clean that drainage hose because after about a year it will get pretty disgusting thank you guys for joining me on my final review of black and decker's 0.9 cubic foot if you happen to have any other questions go ahead and leave them down below i'll do my best to answer them a high 10 out of 10 recommendation thank you so much for joining me i'll see you on the next one bye